Just getting ready to go for our first friendly game of preseason on the 23's team against Step Academy. But yeah, looking forward to it. Very, very excited for the game. So yeah, let's go.
Good morning guys, today is the 28th of August 2023, the time now is 8.17am On the way to another team training session, this time it is a combined training session After having yesterday off, we're back at it again this week, I'm with my boy Tito What's up man? So looking forward to the session, should be good Things that are left on the agenda for today Apart from team training session in the morning We got our first mindset coaching session from 2 to 3 And then from 3.30 to 4.30 We have a team run to the lighthouse Should be about a 5 mile run but Yeah, that's pretty much the rest of the stuff on the agenda for today Go to the spa and then obviously dinner later at night So yeah Let's go. Training session done. The time now is 12.21 p.m. Back at the villa. Just going to give a quick rundown of the training session. So obviously, we started off with dynamic warm-ups, SAQ and whatnot. And then after that, we got split into two separate groups. One group went over to Glenn and Mason to do a square passing drill. So very, very fundamental stuff. Obviously, checking into the cone, opening up, touches. Very, very basic stuff. Different variations of that. And then with Eric, we did a bit of a possession drill. So each team, we would be defending for three minutes straight there will be three defenders going in to try to win the ball off the other opposition team and just working hard then for the next six minutes you'll be working trying to retain the ball and keep possession every time you make 10 passes you switch it over to the other team after that we did basic patterns of play building out from the back um obviously pressing from the front obviously if you're building out from the back your objective is to start from the goal and then play it all the way into the midfield and breaking through lines different patterns of movements and whatnot and just interchanging your spaces and just trying to find the open man really to end of the session we ended it off with 7v7s and 8v8s so those who did 8v8s had goalkeepers and those who did 7v7s you had to shoot on your first touch personally for me i don't think it was my best session first bad session i would say since i've been here this is what my third training session so yeah just touches were off really need to work on my self-talk once i made a mistake i kept getting on my own self get my own back and whatnot and it just piled on but we move just gonna learn from my mistakes and then learn to get better so right now we're waiting for lunch which is going to be at 1 p.m then we're gonna have the mindset coaching and then we're gonna have the team lighthouse run so yeah let's go Today is the 29th of August 2023. The time now is 1.05 p.m. We're just gonna talk about how training went today. So obviously we started off with as per usual dynamic warm-ups. Then we went into small side rondos. Right after that, we expanded it to a larger variation of rondos. But the main focus of today's session is counter-pressing. We only had about 12 players today. So we had to work with a smaller group. It was six players having possession of the ball and five players will be counter-pressing while one of the six players on our team will be on the far side where we have to try to transition the ball after winning it back so like i said mainly the main principles being that three of the front players will be engaging the press the main trigger being once the ball's played out wide that's when the front three players will start engaging in the press trying to win the ball off while we got two players at the back acting as a sort of covering defense preventing being played through the lines and whatnot and then after that we did basically attack and defense but mainly the team that's counter pressing is trying to win the ball off opposition team that is trying to retain possession they are trying to get 10 passes together and then they'll get a point whereas for the team that is counter pressing we want to win the ball off the defense and then play into the box where we're looking to score we ended off the session with small sided games pretty much five versus five three minute games very very quick and intense first restriction was that we had to score on our first touch and then once the things started to open up we ended up playing with unlimited touches to score we had one team waiting on the outside as extra players that we can utilize and whatnot where they have to play with their first touch overall i felt like my performance today wasn't too bad definitely an improvement from yesterday started off the session a little bit slow first touch was a little bit off passes were not being played as well but as i got into the session once we went into the first counter pressing drill i felt like i was really getting into it was able to get I think one or two goals here and there not too bad but like i said preseason still early very very happy that i'm starting to pick things back up later in the day the only two things that we have on the agenda for today one will be a meeting with a guest speaker he's going to be coming in from two to three and then from 3 30 to 4 30 we're going to be having a gym session with a mixture 
sure of the under 23s and the first team so yeah looking forward to that right now it's lunchtime so we're gonna head upstairs and grab some food so yeah let's go Training session done, the time now is 4.36 p.m. Really, really tough work. My ball right over here. Let's I'm, go. I mean, working out here. Serious, focused. What do you think about the session today? Perfect. It was really intense. It's really hot in there, but we're here for that, Absol it? Absolutely. Let's go, man. Yeah, that was really, really tough work. Good way to end of the day. Tomorrow is a day off, but we're going to get in some extra work. In. Right now, we're going to head over to the spa, do a bit of recovery, and then go from there. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm here with my boy, Arisha. Yeah. I mean, obviously, even though I'm from Singapore, he's from Malaysia, but basically, pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Yeah. So, why don't you introduce, introduce yourself over here? Name's Harishan. You call me Hadi, or Shan, or Hadi Shan. <laughs> Up to them, from Malaysia, born and bred. I played football back home. Led up here, like, uh, I had sponsorships to come here to play for the season. Last season, I came here last season actually. This is my second season. I got a scholarship, 100% scholarship to stay for this season. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about your experience at the club so far? My experience at the club so far has been fantastic. Uh, I've developed a lot as a player, especially if you're from Malaysia or Singapore, when you're brought up into football, you go into the pitch, they just ask you to score goals, pass, you know, like those little things, like just go play game, just go play games. Really. But in, in Spain, it was a lot different, like I was introduced more into the touches and all, yeah, I played a decent level back home, but everything out here is much more, like think of it as a one step higher, or two steps higher, there's a lot more you have to do. I love what I learned here last season, a lot of things, just with friends, I met people from all around the world, lots of different experience, good, bad, some you know, or both, and it's never smooth sailing. Oh yeah. yeah. Otherwise, I'm just looking forward for this season, last season we did the week, but the season since we have like a lot of different players now, the quality has improved. Now we have Myron here. He's going to be scoring <laughs> really. He's just got a goal in the debut, man. Otherwise, just pretty much it. My experience was fantastic, man. I, I can't explain it because it was tough. I had it kind of tough at the start, then just go put my way up step by step. Okay, yeah, so for me, I've obviously been here for a short period of time, and yeah, I definitely agree with you on the part where. With regards to learning about the game and whatnot, there's so much more that's so much more, so much more that Spanish football has offered. And I've only been here for what a week, exactly. week and a half. I think you pretty much must have noticed, right? Like how back home when we play, like we just go in, we just play the game. Like we don't, we don't think about like where to position ourselves. We don't think about like how should I receive the ball and all. But down here, mm, there's a lot into it. There's a lot. Into it. That's how you build player. Right? That's what separates the Europe style. Right? To the well, definitely a lot more emphasis on the details, the minor details, yeah. the body, body position, exactly. how you receive the pass, how you play the pass. To every, the little detail, every little detail, every little detail. And Myron should very well. Like, he's going to stay here for another six months and now see a different. He, he's going to change the way he plays. I changed my way I play. I, I played differently when I came, now I play completely different. So that's how it is. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Arsha, now that we've talked about your experience, why not? What are your personal goals for the season per se? And also, what are your thoughts on 
how the team is going to do for the upcoming season? My goal, like individual or as a team, I just want to win the league. Play for the play, like you play for the team, man. Like that's how I want to be. I just want to play for the team, win the league, and I feel everything else will be much easier. You get a promotion, you go up, you probably get more scouts. That's how you improve. That's my goal, and I want to develop myself much more as a better midfielder, as a better ten. I want to be. I have my personal goals, man. Like for me, primary winning the league, develop myself as a player. Okay. Whatever I don't know, I have to do it. And mental side, now I've seen I've introduced into the mental side of football. Uh, have you heard of the quote by Arsenal? 90% of elite football is mental. 100% of That thing is true, guys. That thing is absolutely true. Kind of like. So that's pretty much it. Develop myself as a player. Be a better person, be a better player. Better teammate. Like help each other out because in the end you make friends for life. That's how it is. You just help each other, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Well, Ari, appreciate you taking the time. We want to say a shout out to him, especially because he puts in a he puts in the shift every single day. He does a lot of the stuff around the house. And it, and you just turned 20 like a few days ago, back on Saturday, right? Yeah, on Saturday was my birthday. I had great time with the guys. <laughs> I they, they they were so special to me, man. But yeah, this season is going to be special. Like, now we are journey, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. One day I'm gonna watch back at this and smile. Oh yeah. Anyways, I, I, Thank I, you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks, man. Subscribe! Thank <laughs> you. Subscribe. If you enjoyed the content, hopefully we get more exclusive interviews like this. Oh, I tried it again! Good job, done. Oh, you got him sitting! Oh, man! Here we go. Good feet. Oh, good ball. Good job! your left later you can practice your left later Oy. oh oh yeah wow <laughs> all right look i'm about to do it no! <laughs> get that shit out here chris see i need it i did see the let off in the roulette the roulette Ooh. Oh, yeah. I, I hit a little. Oh, yeah. We're going to try that. <laughs> what, Tito? We were just supposed to pass through those two, right? Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs>
Oh, good. Good tackle. Training session done, the time now is 12.59pm. Really, really good session. I think personally for me, really, really happy with my performance. Today, we've mainly focused on transition play. So we started the session, obviously we did running on the outside, on the track and whatnot. After that, we finished up, did dynamic stretching as per usual, very, very standard stuff. Right after that, we went into a particular passing pattern, basically checking away, coming in, touches, just sharpening up our touches and passing different combinations and whatnot and then after that we went into a six versus six in the middle with two outside players for both teams and basically you have to transition from offense to defense once you play the ball out to the outside player you would have to swap out with them outside player comes in and they try to transition to the other side and then right after that we ended it off with 5v5s and also we did some crossing and heading so Really, really good stuff. End of the session, as per usual, since it's preseason, fitness. For the rest of today, obviously, there'll be lunch in a bit. And right after that, we'll be having a gym session with the under-23s and the first team. So, yeah, let's go. Training session done, the time now is 4.32pm. Really, really tough session, but it was really, really good. I have first team player and under 19s assistant coach Mason with me. What are your uh, thoughts yeah. on the session? Uh, good. Uh, obviously, um, a lot of exercises we've won just one barbell, which is a good thing. Intense. Cray has got us going crazy with it. He wants to kill us all. All of all, good. Good, everyone's doing well. And uh, obviously a couple of injuries, but we can manage to have different exercises. Any particular exercise that you think that was the toughest one? I think the V holds with the weight is like crazy. Biceps, because I just did biceps yesterday, so that was a killer. And then which one? Craig uh, burpees. I just hate them. I just don't like the burpees. I think for me in particular, the hardest one was the rowing one. Yeah. Trying to control using your core, keeping it engaged, and rowing at the same time. Yeah. Anyways, appreciate it. You say it, bro. We're gonna hit the spa after this, and then after that, pretty much dinner. So yeah, peace.
Today is the 1st of September 2023. The time now is 9.55 a.m. On the way to training. It's at Cabo today. Looking forward to it. Today's training session is mainly going to be working on our tactics for our friendly game tomorrow. I got my boy, Tito. Up, bro? How are you feeling for today's session? Feeling good. Legs a little heavy. Gotta get the job done. Gotta get the job done, that's the one. I think today's session will be a little bit lighter considering that our game is tomorrow. It is an away trip. If I'm not mistaken, it's somewhere near Elche, about 30 minutes away. We're just gonna be talking about how the training went. So yeah, let's go. Training session done, the time now is 1.07 p.m. Today we mainly worked on our defensive organization, defending from the front and our formation for tomorrow's friendly match. Really, really good stuff. We started off the session with obviously dynamic warm-ups. Then we went into a bit of four versus four possession. And then after that, we did we split ourselves into different teams and focus on how can we press from the front and how can we win the ball by boxing the opposition into the corner and obviously we did a little bit of bigger side possessions one team that had to defend and try to win the ball back while the, there were three other teams trying to retain possession of the ball and then after that we went into a bigger scale of our formation and whatnot we are probably going to be playing three at the back for tomorrow's game so we're working on that we had five in the midfield so we had a six we had a ten and number eight two wing backs and two strikers. So obviously we're really, really working on how can we win the ball on the front foot and when they build up from the back, how can we cut off the passing lanes and really make it difficult for the opposition to play out. And then after that, we ended off the session with scrimmage, you know, seven versus seven. Personally for me, I had some really, really good moments and some really questionable decision making and, you know, not too great passes, but I think overall it was quite a decent session for me and really, really good preparation for tomorrow's game. So obviously for the rest of the day, I'm probably going to be seeing the physio just to help out with a bit of recovery and also to prepare for tomorrow's game. And apart from that, there's really nothing else on the agenda for the rest of the day. Probably going to do some grocery shopping and that's about it. So yeah, let's go. again and again and again the lights are cut off but you're still looking at your dream reviewing it every day and say to yourself it's not over oh, until i win what a goal and what a time and what a place what a play drops i'll be with us 